So Razer makes gaming cases. That's neat. The standard marketing claim on Razer's Arctech cases is that they will improve performance and battery life by keeping your devices cool. So do they? Well, the short answer is generally yes. Now I've come to this conclusion after spending way too much money on a thermal imaging camera and way too much time playing games on my iPhone. Boom, headshot. Take that Timmy 777. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna slam the Arctic Slim, I'm gonna praise the Arctic Pro, and then I'm gonna show you what I did to prove that Razer isn't trying to pull a fast one over our eyes with their marketing claim in terms of making your iPhone run better by making it cooler. At Mobile Reviews, eh? Monty and I, this wonderful puppy, and I, Aaron, <laughs> base all our reviews on actual usage. When a company like Razer puts out a ludicrous claim like, you know, their cases can cool your iPhone, well, Monty is going to go out of his way to put that claim to the test. I, on the other hand, was just happy regurgitating Razer's marketing fluff like all the other reviewers do. So to get to this point, I dropped $100 on the Arctic Slim and the Pro THS uh, Arctic version and $25 on a laser thermometer. Now you would think that that was all I needed to do to test Razer's claim, but did you know that laser thermometers don't work on the back of the iPhone for whatever reason? It works on windows, it works on mirrors, but on the back of the iPhone, the temperature measurement constantly changes with distance. So yeah, just shine it right on the iPhone. Oh my God, are you shining it in my eye? So in order to do this review right, I needed something better. So I went and bought out a FLIR 1 Pro. I know, I'm committed. Hashtag reviewer, not influencer. When it comes to design, the Artec Slim is one of the thinner, slimmer cases in my ridiculous collection of cases. It's one of the lighter cases as well, which is kind of good from a gaming standpoint. However, when compared to similar design cases, the back of the Artec Slim is actually quite thick. I'm guessing that extra thickness is needed to house the thermapine layer, which sits underneath the microfiber layer. In general, the case fits the iPhone quite well, uh, even though there isn't really much to the case. It's very slick, so it's gonna slide around a lot when it's on it back and when it's on its front the responsibility of stopping your iPhone from sliding around goes to your iPhone screen or screen protector which is you know just swell. The case doesn't show excessive usage which is something I can't say for the Pro case. The texture on the Arctic Slim is absolutely terrible as there isn't any which makes very little sense to me because this is a case meant for gaming. Shouldn't a gaming case handle well? Maybe? But I will note that the vending holes on the back of the case do feel neat. Neat. Do they work? Well, stay tuned. In terms of protection, the Arctic Slim is gonna offer your iPhone protection that's just a notch above a piece of wet paper towel. It's a single layer case with extremely low edges and everything's just exposed. The only thing that is worth noting in terms of protection is that there's a microfiber cloth on the back which will help with uh, minor scratches if dust and debris get between your case and your iPhone. In terms of iPhone functionality, well, getting to your iPhone is a breeze in this case because there's nothing there. Now, honestly, I'm not kidding about the wet paper towel comment. This case doesn't actually extend past the bottom of your iPhone. So if you were to drop it like a normal drop, the only thing that's gonna stop your iPhone from breaking is your iPhone. And I guess in that instance, a wet paper towel might actually provide more protection than this Razer Arctic Slim case. Now, is the Arctic Pro versions any better? Well, they are. Well, from a case perspective anyways. If you're finding what I've done with this video useful or helpful, consider checking out some of my other content in terms of iPhone cases. If you are planning on getting this case, consider getting it through my links because this entire video was not sponsored. I literally dropped $500 for a thermal camera to make this video. I'm not making any of my money back on this, am I? Doing the math, doing the math, doing the math. Well, that sucks. On to the Arctic Pro THS edition, which looks way more useful and is actually way more useful than the Arctic Slim. I honestly have no idea who would seriously consider the Arctic Slim case. Like, it's just, ugh. For $40, blah. The design of the Pro THS edition feels a lot like a Spec Presidio Pro. There's a soft rubber coating on the outside of the case, which greatly helps with handling. In terms of size, the Arctic Pro is much bulkier than the Slim version, but that's to be expected since this case will actually protect your iPhone. How much does the extra bulk add to the device? A whopping four grams. Now, from what I can tell, the Arctic Pro is made from polycarbonate TPU, which is unlike other cases from mouse, which are made from polycarbonate TPE and TPU. The Arctic Pro THS edition fits the iPhone very well, won't slide around easily on the front or the back, with my only gripe with the black version of the case is that, well, it's a constant reminder that I'm mildly greasy. The venting holes coupled with the green microfiber cloth on the back kind of makes for a unique design. As I mentioned a few seconds ago, 
ago, the texture on this case is awesome, which kind of makes sense for gaming. When it comes to protection, the Artec Pro is going to offer your iPhone a decent amount of drop protection. I have no issues dropping it from chest height, which is something I wouldn't even consider with the Artec Slim. The edges of the case are high enough to keep your iPhone screen with the screen protector off a flat surface, and the edges are rigid enough that I'm not worried about dust and debris getting between the case and the iPhone. Like the Artec Slim, your iPhone's back is coddled by microfiber, so it'll do a decent job of keeping your iPhone back scratch free. I had no issues getting to my iPhone, the buttons felt great, camera cut was large, and the edge of the camera cutter was matted to minimize flash bounce backs, and the port cutter is large enough to use my iPhone stand. So that's the review for the actual cases. Now the big question is, does the Thermofine actually work? Mobile gaming is a pretty big thing, right? You know, it actually is a lot because iOS developers in the last, I think, 12 years have made close to $100 billion. That's how much Apple has paid these guys. And most of it is through gaming, through pay to win bull crap. But you know, if you want to know what my true feelings are about that, check out my IMHO episode for the full story, we'll say. So with these art tech cases, Razer's probably looking to capture some of that revenue you know, capture some of the hearts of some of those hardcore candy crushers. Now, again, the unique feature of these Arctic cases is a layer of material called Thermofine, which is supposed to draw heat from your devices and expel it through the back of the case. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I think it actually works. Now, to get to that point to figure out if it actually worked, I spent several hours filming myself using the FLIR camera while playing video games, specifically Call of Duty Mobile. This didn't work out too well because it was tough to get a consistent set of data and to get a consistent idea of how my iPhone's temperature was changing, uh, because, well, I was constantly doing this because, you know, that's what happens when you game. The next setup I used was setting up the iPhones in tripods, both of them. Now, this worked a little bit better, but it put my body in an awkward position. And in my mildly advanced age, any time not spent in an optimal sitting position wrecks havoc on my body. Now, if you're wondering what's the easiest way to get your iPhone all hot and bothered, it's actually not gaming, but rather spending hours and hours recording slow-mo video. The hottest my iPhone ever got playing uh, Call of Duty Mobile was about 37 degrees, whereas my slow-mo uh, video method was almost 45 degrees. Now for each of my tests, I would capture a minimum of seven minutes of slow motion video and then record the temperature using my FLIR 1 Pro camera before taking it off the case and doing another reading immediately after. For the Razer Artec THS Pro, the iPhone was at 42.7 degrees right after the case removal, which was around one and a half degrees different. I did that test a couple of times with both these products and it's about one to one and a half degrees. So yeah, the difference was noticeable through my FLIR 1 camera. But at this point, I was kind of curious to know how other cases stacked up against the Razer cases. So I ran the exact same test with mostly a bunch of cases for my top 10 list, which included the Urban Armor Gear Monarch, the Autobox Symmetry, the Mouse Contour, the Taka Mag Case Pro, the Spigen Tough Armor, and the Catalyst Impact Protection. And out of this grouping of cases, the Pataka Mag Case was the worst. It got to full, over 47 degrees, which is crazy, followed by the Catalyst Impact Protection, then the Mouse Contour, Urban Armor Gear Monarch, Symmetry, and Tough Armor. It basically was the reverse of my top 10 list. So the iPhone in these Razer cases in general was one degree cooler than all the other cases. So I would say Razer's not trying to pull a fast one on us, which is kind of a good thing. But the question I have for myself is how much will a one degree difference affect my iPhone? Like my iPhone isn't like a custom gaming rig where each manufacturer of each part has no idea which part it's going to be used with. So you really have to tinker a lot with what you want to do with your rig. But Apple's in charge of every single part in the iPhone. So the tolerances for heat are known for every single part and they all work together so you know is one degree not going to make a difference i don't know i guess i do know that the cooler a computer runs the better it is for the billions and billions and transistors in the chips so you know generally maybe it's a good thing but i'm no expert what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below so that's all i got for this video again if you found this video useful considering getting your cooling gaming cases through my links if they are being sold on Amazon. I'll try to secure a deal uh, for you guys, a discount. We'll see. I have never worked with Razer, uh, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But questions, comments, leave them down there. And